Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. In this episode, we will be discussing which class to play. In Star Wars The Old Republic, you can successfully play all parts of the game with every class. Those are fairly well balanced. Your class will determine which story you'll see and what combat abilities you can use. Depending on how you like to play, it may be more important for you to choose which storyline you would like to see, or to choose a class that fits your combat style, especially if you plan on doing PvP or operations with other people. There are eight classes in the game, and each one has a distinct storyline that you can only experience on that class. Each faction, Imperial and Republic, also has a unique planetary storyline focused on that faction's current troubles. So if you're more sympathetic to the light-sided underdog, make sure to choose the Republic. Conversely, if you'd like to move your way up in the powerful dark-sided empire, choose the Imperial side. If you only have time to play one, I suggest the Imperial Agent on the Imperial side, or the Jedi Knight on the Republic side. The Jedi Knight story is known as Knights of the Old Republic 3, and is the most similar to the story shown in Knights of the Old Republic. It is a classic story of life Light vs. Dark, Jedi vs. Sith. The Imperial Agent story is often considered one of the best in the game and is rumored to have been written first. The story also has drastically different endings depending on what choices you've made throughout the story, unlike some of the other classes which are more static. The Jedi Consular's class story is frequently known as being the most boring of the class stories, as it focuses on healing, study, and diplomacy rather than adventures and intrigue like the other stories. The Consular's story is that of a more average Jedi rather than one who saves the world with a sweep of their saber. The Sith Warriors class story is a very Star Wars story. Much like the Jedi Knight, this story focuses on the history of the Sith and the struggle between the dark and the light side of the Force. The Smuggler's class story is exactly what you'd expect it to be. A high-flying adventure filled with lying, stealing, smuggling, and gambling with hearts and credits. This class is great if you've ever wanted to play as a smooth-talking Han Solo. The Sith Inquisitor's class story focuses on the mysteries of the Force and Sith alchemy. You'll also struggle with members of the Dark Council as they try and strike you down as you grow in power. The Trooper's class story is about being a part of the Republic military and dealing with the treachery that has been sown in its ranks. As you deal with betrayal, you also have to help save planets that have been overrun by the Empire. The Bounty Hunter's class story sends you on the Great Hunt, a competition to name the greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Not only will you have to find your targets, you'll also have to deal with rival hunters. I highly recommend playing each class at least once if you have time. They are all part of a greater overarching storyline, the mix of the lore of Sator. When choosing a class, you'll also want to consider how the class will play in combat if you plan on continuing to play your characters after you've completed the storyline. If you want to be a tank or a healer, you'll need to make sure to choose a class that has that option available. Once you choose a class, you'll be later able to choose an advanced class. Your advanced class is a permanent choice and will lock you into playing certain roles and using certain abilities. If you plan on doing group content, I suggest choosing a ranged class. Ranged classes are highly favored in almost every fight. You'll also want to have a better view of the entire fight. I also recommend choosing an advanced class that can play multiple roles. That way, if you wind up in a group that is the wrong composition, you can swap your role around without too much trouble and make it work for the group. Although there are eight classes, the Imperial classes and Republic classes are mirrors of each other. That means although they have different storylines, their combat roles and abilities are the same, except for the animations. The trooper can become a commando or vanguard. Commandos can be ranged DPS, who use a heavy blaster cannon and a variety of specialty ammo to gun down their enemies. Commandos can also be healers that shoot Kolto from their gun and act as a field medic. Vanguards can be close range DPS that attack with knives or fire and have an ability that gets them close to the enemy fast. Vanguards can also become tanks who defend themselves with technology like personal shields and adrenaline stims. The bounty hunter is the mirror of the trooper and can become a mercenary or power tech. Mercenaries can be ranged DPS who wield dual pistols and missiles. Mercenaries can also heal using Kulto and healing scans. Power techs can become close range DPS whose attacks mainly involve fire <laughs> and lots of it. Power techs can also become tanks that defend themselves with personal shields and heavy armor. The smuggler can become a gunslinger or scoundrel. Gunslingers are long range DPS that can hunker down and take cover while they fight. Scoundrels can be more close range down and dirty fighters with shotguns or become healers that practice in underworld medicine. Scoundrels also own a stealth generator which can allow them to avoid combat when they need to slip away. The Imperial Agent is a mirror of the smuggler and can become a sniper or an operative. 
Snipers can wield the elusive long-range sniper rifle, and can also deploy various droids and poisons while they take cover. Operatives can attack at closer range with knives, or become healers that are supported with the best medicine Imperial Research can provide. Operatives are also supplied with a stealth generator by Imperial Intelligence, and can stay in stealth for long periods of time if undetected. The Jedi Knight can become a Sentinel or a Guardian. Sentinels focus purely on up-close damage, and they wield two lightsabers. They also have a temporary force stealth they can use to confuse and dishearten their enemies. Guardians use a single lightsaber and can become either champions of the force as a DPS or tank. The Sith Warrior is the mirror of the Jedi Knight, and they can become a Marauder or a Juggernaut. The Marauder wields dual lightsabers and draws on the dark side of the force to intimidate their enemies at close range. Juggernauts are combative dark side wielders that can become DPS or tanks. The Jedi Consular can become a Sage or a Shadow. Sages stay carefully away from the fight at long range as either force wielding DPS or healers. Shadows can slip away from fights using their force stealth, and when they reappear they can act as close range DPS or tanks that can protect themselves with the Force. The Sith Inquisitor is the mirror of the Jedi Consular and become a sorcerer or an assassin. Sorks allow others to move in close while they stay behind using their arcane arts to do damage with the dark side of the Force. Assassins can become dual wielding close range DPS or tanks that protect themselves with Sith runes for sliding and of course stealth. Once you've chosen a class, keep in mind that if you're not really getting into it, it's easy to go back and remake a new character. You can try out a new class, a new advanced class, or even an entirely new faction. For many people, it can be little details that change whether they like the character or not. It can be something as small as an animation, or it can be something as big as an entire playstyle. Make sure not to ruin the game for yourself by choosing a class and trying to stick with it, even if you don't like it. People especially have trouble with the melee classes, and changing to a ranged class can make a huge difference in the way they play and enjoy the game. Another good way to experience the different classes is to pair up with a buddy, or join a flashpoint or operation. You'll see the abilities firsthand and might see something you like enough that sends you straight back to the character creator. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Academy. If you have a favorite class that you think others should try out, post in the comments below. Remember, no spoilers! In the next episode, we'll be talking about companions and how to get the most out of them.